We have recently done a couple of updated tier list videos. We did one a few weeks ago for the ground force officers, and we did one about a week ago for the air force officers. Got a lot of great feedback on both of those tier list videos, and one of the highly requested tier list videos in addition to those two was an exclusive lounge tier list video, and that is exactly what we are going to bring you guys today. So let's not waste any time, and let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Welcome back guys. So we are in the tier list maker, but before we kick off this video, if you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel, want to see more tier list videos in the future, finding value out of any of these videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Both of those things help the channel out tremendously. And if you guys have access to discord and are not already in our community discord server, the link to that is also going to be in the description of this video below. Click on that link. It'll take you right into the community discord server, whether you are a veteran player and just want to come chat and hang out with other people people within the community, or you are a new player that has got questions, need guidance, advice, whatever it may be. Absolutely. Everybody is welcome. We'd love to have you come be a part of it. All right. So here is how the actual tier list is going to go. We have got the six spots for all six exclusive lounge officers. We are going to start from the sixth and worst ranking spot and work all the way up to first. Something to keep in mind, though, with this exclusive lounge officer tier list is a lot of this is dependent upon what unit types you prioritize prioritize running with your army. If you're very heavy on tanks, then this list might, might be a little bit different for you. If you're re very heavy on uh, artillery, this list might be a little different for you. So this is my opinion on the rankings of each of these officers, just from a like unbiased, strictly based on skills and value and things like that. That's what this ranking list is going to be based on. But if you guys, again, have a certain specific army type and you guys prioritize certain units over others, then this list might be just a little different for you. So kicking us off and coming in at number six and the worst exclusive lounge officer, at least currently in the game, is going to be Rictus Reaper. He is an Air Force bomber specific officer, and he is just kind of a waste. Honestly, I know that sounds bad, especially for an exclusive lounge officer, but out of all of the officers that you could possibly go for, he's not one that you should. And in fact, when it comes to bomber specific officers, the thing is, is there are other free to play options in terms of air force or bomber specific officers that are even better than Rictus Reaper, in my opinion. So he's just not even in the in the conversation as an officer that needs to be prioritized or, you know, anything in any capacity, really. So he's going to be steady in the last place spot. Coming in at number five is going to be Lord of Order, and he is a very good officer. So again, if you are prioritizing tanks, maybe he's a little bit higher on your list. But the thing about Lord of Order is he is more of a defensive focused officer. A lot of his skills are more defensive focused, and a lot of his skills are also skills that are very similar to other officers that are free to play. And so for that reason, and he's going to be in the fifth spot for me because if I wanted one of those skills or wanted something at least similar and close in, in comparison to those skills that he's going to offer, uh, then I can go get them for free from another officer already in the game. Coming in at the number four spot is going to be Saber of the Nation. Saber of the Nation is the first and kind of OG exclusive lounge officer in Warpath. He is an artillery specific officer, and I might catch a little flack from some of you that are artillery fanatics in the comments, which is entirely okay. I totally get it. Saber of the Nation is a freaking beast just period he is a monster uh the reason he is going to be in the four spot is because the remaining three officers are uh, really just kind of so elite that he can't really pass them up but that's not to discredit any of saber of the nation skills either he really does well on an artillery unit in the open field on an anti-tank gun garrisoned in your base uh he He's, he just delivers a punch, guys, and he really is a kind of a must-have exclusive lounge officer if you are going to invest in exclusive lounge officers. Coming in in the third place spot is going to be Professor Payne, and Professor Payne is a monster 
period. He is a tank-specific officer, similar to War of Order, except Professor Payne's skill set is geared more towards an offensive-based skill set. He he is you just really don't want to have to go up against a unit with him on it in the open field, the tank unit. If you do prioritize tanks in particular and tank tech, then Professor Payne is probably going to be a little bit higher on this list for you. He might be in the first or second place spot. Uh, the reason he is in the third place spot is, again, just from kind of an unbiased perspective and just overall skill set taken into consideration. Uh, I feel like the remaining two officers on the list here uh, offer just a little bit more. But again, that is not to discredit Professor Payne. If you prioritize tanks and you do want to invest in the exclusive lounge, then you absolutely need to prioritize Professor Payne. The second officer in the list on the rankings here is going to be Darkwing. Darkwing is a fighter specific officer and guys he just delivers a freaking sledgehammer of damage. He is by far and away the best fighter officer that is available currently in Warpath. Again obviously exclusive lounge based uh, so you can't just you know rank him up or rank his skills up rather with golden officer statues, universal statues, but if you do have the ability to invest into the exclusive lounge and you have prioritized Air Force, then he is a must-have for your fighter plane. If you have not invested in much of your Air Force development, then you probably would want to consider flip-flopping Professor Payne for Darkwing and maybe slide Professor Payne into the second spot. But if you do have any kind of viable uh, Air Force investment going on, then Darkwing is an absolute must-have. And then coming in at our number one spot on the tier list here is going to be Lady Liberté. I think there's really no surprise here on this first place ranking whether you're an air force fanatic whether you've gone all in on tanks whether you've gone all in on artillery uh lady liberty is a just uh, plain and simple she's a beast period uh the end out of all of the exclusive lounge officers the reason that i have put her in the first place spot is because she does at least as of this moment she does the highest amount of damage coefficient her passive skills are just off the charts. I mean, there's nothing that Lady Liberty does that's not incredible. Uh, she is a monster, whether she's on an artillery unit in the open field, doing some field fighting against tank or artillery units, whether she is garrisoned on a artillery unit in your base, doesn't matter. She absolutely delivers a punch and it's really fun to watch her in action it sucks when you're on the receiving end of her skills in the open field which i have been plenty of times but when you have her kind of guarding you with a friendly artillery unit uh it is a very very good feeling so lady liberty no question about it goes into the first place spot on our list let me know what you guys think do you guys agree with my tier list here and my ranking of each of these officers do you disagree if you do disagree let me know on which ones you disagree and why and where you would actually place them in the tier list i'm genuinely curious but again from kind of an unbiased neutral not taking in tech and whatever individualized investments that you know i've got or that any of you may have just from a purely skill perspective that is how i would rank each of those exclusive lounge officers i hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you guys did and want to see more tier list videos in the future hit the like button hit the subscribe button both of those things help the channel out tremendously and again just a reminder if you guys do have access to discord and are not already in our community discord server the link to that is going to be in the description of the video below click on that link it'll take you right into the community discord server absolutely everybody is welcome we'd love to have you come be a part of it thanks for hanging out with me on the video today guys and we'll catch you guys on the next one